What's going on? This better be important. You totally interrupted me. I was right in the middle of looking at pictures of Seth. Trust me guys, it's really important. Remember how Mia pranked us last year? Of course I do. She totally scared me into getting the hiccups. She messed with my alarm clock and made me think that I was late for school. I hate being late for school. She messed with my skateboard so I would fall and look like a complete fool. But this year, we're gonna get Mia back and we're gonna get her good. May I present to you Project Prank Mia. Sounds awesome, but what are we gonna do? Can we blow stuff up like a crazy scientist? Um, yeah, no. Here's what we're gonna do. So, you know how Mia's always dreamed of a tropical beach vacation? Well, yeah, but what does that have to do with anything? Well, we're going to prank Mia into thinking she's won a once-in-a-lifetime vacation to Hawaii. Yeah, that sounds fun and all, but it would be even cooler if we could blow some stuff up. <sighs> We're not blowing stuff up, Felicity. Now look, you're going to call Mia tomorrow morning and tell her in kind of a disguised voice that she's won two free tickets for a trip to Hawaii with the person of her choice. Do you think you can handle that? Of course. Disguised voices are my specialty. Hee hee hee. Alrighty then. And McKenna, Chances are Mia's probably going to be so thrilled that she'll come screaming downstairs. So I'm going to have you waiting with a suitcase, ready to just ship her out the door. Can you do that? But of course, I can't wait to get her back. Alrighty then, sounds good to me. Let's do it. Project Prank Mia is a go. <clears throat> well, how did their sugar dumpling? Excuse me? My name is uh, uh Seth. Seth Horse Clock. Um okay. I'm calling to tell you congratulations because you're our big winner, y'all. Um, winner of what? Well, you entered our big tropical vacation giveaway last year and we drew your name and you're the winner. Congrats! Uh, what? I, I don't remember entering anything. Uh, oh, of course you don't remember. It was last year that you entered, so who cares about that? You little lady are going to Hawaii! Along with the um, guest of your choice. And your tickets, your your plane tickets will be they'll be coming in the mail in about five minutes. Ain't that exciting? Wow, really? No way, that's great. Well, congratulations once again and have fun on your trip to tropical Hawaii, y'all. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Phew! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! McKenna, oh my gosh, you will never have believed what just happened! Why are you just sitting on the couch doing nothing? 
Oh, hey Mia. Um, I'm just chilling, trying to figure out what to do today. What happened? Why are you so excited? I don't know how it happened, but somehow I won a trip for two to the beautiful state of Hawaii. Hey, do you want to come with me? Yeah, totally. That sounds like fun. In fact, I had this mysterious funny feeling that me and one other random person who I didn't know who it would be would be going on a crazy long trip today. So I already packed two suitcases and I got you something special even though I had no idea that you would be going to Hawaii today but it just came to my mind so I thought I would get it for you. I got you this adorable bikini and a cover up. You should totally go put it on like right now because I think that would be super cute. Even though we're gonna be on a plane for a really long time, I think you should put it on anyways because it'll look adorable on you. So put it on. You know what? I will put it on and then I'll be all ready and set to go swimming in Hawaii. Thank you so much, McKenna. Did she take the bait? Oh yeah. Now all we have to do is wait to say those two little words. I'm ready! Okay, awesome. Um, let, let's go. Hold on a minute, McKenna. I just thought of something. Did I forget to pack the sunscreen? Darn. Good thing you remembered, though. Okay, let's go. Now, now, McKenna, I just realized we are going to be on a plane for probably longer than half of a day, and that's a pretty long flight. Isn't it odd that it would be legal for minors, people under the age of 18, to be flying by themselves unaccompanied by a legal adult? And why would a contest place or whatever enforce that? Gee, uh, Mia, I don't know. Maybe we'll get an airport chaperone that will also fly with us. Now, let's go. Why would an agency that was giving away such a hefty prize Give it away to someone who's under the age of 18. And why would they let someone under the age of 18 enter in the first place? Haven't you ever read the fine print? Must be 18 years or older to enter. I'm not 18. And <laughs> it certainly would be illegal to enter saying that I was 18 when I'm really not. The jig is up, McKenna. You'll never April Fool's me. Are you serious? But it sounded so legit. How did you figure it out? <laughs> Please, I've heard Felicity use her southern impression all the time. It's nothing I've never heard before. Are you kidding me? But it sounded so legit. <sighs> Dang it, Mia. Why do you have to be so hard to prank? <sighs> Addy, Addy, Addy. Don't you understand? I've been doing this for years and years and years. I have some practice under my belt. <sighs> oh, and before I forget, Felicity, um, some guy from YouTube called, um, what was his name? Seth? He wanted to see if you'd like to Skype with him. What? Are you kidding me? When can I talk to Seth? Ugh, Felicity, can't you see it's a... <laughs> hey! April Fools. 